Spine Chill is a great perk because it allows you to know when the killer is looking at you, even if you don't know where they are. It means that you can plan well ahead and, although not necessarily avoid chases, get a good head start and distance against the killer, making the chase more on your terms. Spine Chill has two other significant effects though that aren't usually brought up when discussing the viability of the perk. It increases your chance of getting a skill check by 10% whilst lowering success zones by 10%. It increases repair, healing, sabotage, unhooking, vaulting, cleansing, exit, opening, chest searching, snap out of it, jigsaw, box search, bear trap, rescuing, or bear trap, freeing speeds by 6%. I love it when the devs use real values rather than the whole greatly, tremendously, whatever thing. It means that I can work out things like this. Solar repairs take 80 seconds, so if the killer is watching you the whole time you're working on a gen, then it'll take 75.2 seconds to solo repair a gen. Healing another player takes 16 seconds, so if the killer is watching you the whole time you're healing someone else, then it'll take 15.04 seconds. These are extremely low numbers that surely wouldn't have any impact on gameplay, right? Yeah, and no. You see, where this effect comes most in handy is during chases. A medium vault takes 1 second and a fast vault takes 0.5 seconds. If the killer is right up behind you, then they'll be looking at you, giving you 6% more leeway if the killer swings. That's a tiny, tiny amount. But how many games have you been in where the killer just misses or just about hits? Spine Shield could make the difference there. You could also use the notified skin advantage of 0.06 seconds of distance to the killer. If, like, you were being that precise for some strange reason. The core utility of Spine Shield is knowing when the killer is looking at you. Obviously. 6% is almost nothing. But it does serve as an additional indicator if you don't want to be staring at your perks the whole game and could, in some very unique situations, be the difference between getting down or not during a chase. While recording these clips, I also found something quite interesting. It looks like only healing, sabotaging, repairing, vaulting, and searching chests are actually influenced. The reason I say this is because usually when your speed is being buffed, the progress bar turns gold. Uh, by the way, when it's being debuffed, it turns red. And this only happened for those four actions. I don't know whether the wiki's wrong, or whether it just doesn't notify you that those speeds are changing. It could have changed in a patch and they just didn't put it in the patch notes. Who knows? But that is a little bit strange. Okay, that's the most amount of words someone could possibly ever need to speak on this topic, but it was something that I wanted to talk about. Thank you for watching. Short video. Different short video. Wow. Hey, thank you for 200 subscribers, and then also thank you for 250 subscribers, which are two things that happened within the space of about 24 hours of each other. Shout out to the algorithm for promoting one video that I did six or seven months ago. That's sick. Thank, thank you guys. Thank you for watching the videos. Okay, goodbye.